Good evening, everyone. This is the final Wagon game, released to my knowledge. Uh, this is Wagon Adventure. Don't don't be intimidated by the large title. It just pretty much translates to Wagon Adventure. And there's Wagon dying on the on the title screen because for some reason this title screen is just Wagon screwing around, grabbing fruit, and dying to enemies. Anyway. Uh, this is probably my favorite one of the games. It is my first time streaming a DS game. I hope this looks good. This is like as good as I can get it, I believe. Um, let's go ahead and start. So, some disclaimers. I'm going to be using save states, because there's no rewind for this. I will be using save states, though. Let's go ahead and start a new game. Death is only the beginning. Glad the game thinks so, too. So, no rewind, so save states. You'll see my mouse cursor when I, when I ever do, and that lower right corner is just not going to do anything. So, this is going to have 3D cutscenes, and I will try to transcribe what happens during the cutscenes. So, let's go ahead and start. So, here's a remote island. It, uh... There's a cool-looking dragon statue that's a bit familiar-looking if you look closely. This kind of makes me think of Loco Roco. I can see why. Anyway, here's some people cowering as Dr. Devil comes in to steal their, their artifact. So we're, we got the return of Dr. Devil. And I honestly think this series is both a soft reboot and a far off sequel. And I will elaborate more on that later on. If you already re read my blog, you'll know what's coming up. But anyway, this artifact, I, there, there's a name for it, but it couldn't translate well. So I just call it like just, I, I just call it the artifact. He used the artifact to steal their wisdom, and knowing that there's danger, the dragon statue awakens and summons Wagyan, who is very sleepy from his how long ever nap. I don't know. If, I don't think this is the same Doctor Devil or Wagyan. Wagyan could still stun, and this time he could bounce on enemies. He's just saying to stop jumping on him, that's all. Oh yeah, if you see gifts and stuff on the side, that's just Picardo being weird. That's not going to be in the stream. It's not going to be on the uh, YouTube upload. Anyway, the second function that this artifact has is uh, summoning these genies. So this is Shady Tori Man. It's, it's, it's just like Shady Tori Genie. I call him Shady Tori Man because that's what a... Uh, the Google Translate gave me, but it also gives me Majin, so you could call it just the Shitty Toddy Genie. Uh, Dr. Devil tells him to take care of Wagen and teleports away, and Wagen's ready to fight. This sounds like Thousand Year Door music, it kind of does. So, yeah, we'll get the Shitty Toddy. Anyway, here's the world map. It's a bit like New Super Mario Brothers, I feel, where uh, it, it's just like an open world map where you walk back and forth. So, this, this structurally is a lot different. From the wagon games and the level design is a lot stronger I feel and the music is adorable so now you get wagon well, actually you can actually hear and say the wall those signs are just tutorials I don't have to worry about them and another good in a new innovation of this game is you can just bounce on enemies before wagon would die if he made contact with the top of it but you can still stun them and use them as platforms there's there's little stun bars to let you know when they're gonna stop being stunned this game's gonna be a two or three part. It's probably gonna be three parts. I plan on trying to beat two, uh, two, two worlds tonight. I had to do this, uh, this cut, this tutorial. It's just telling me to just jump on the enemies, use them as a platform. There are other tutorials I'm not gonna bother with because I don't need. To, well, I. It depends if I'm gonna be forced in those doors or not. I did them when I first played. I don't know if I'm forced to do them. Oh yeah, I'm forced to do the doors. So these are just tutorials and. It leaves a bad first impression because the first world... Well, here's here's Wagen's newest ability where he can just kind of do it like a Yoshi flutter. He doesn't get gain any height, but it kind of hovers him a bit. Anyway, this game, the first world is really rough because it's baby easy and they force tutorials on you. But I assure you, it gets way better. By the way, please take a moment to appreciate the background work. It kind of gives me this Kirby 64 feel. It is fantastic. Oh, instead of Wagenizers, Wagen grabs microphones to power up his shout. Another new innovation in this game is being able to climb walls and enemies like this. So that's cool. 
You look at that background. So if you thought Wagon in Paradise looked great, this game is this game. I don't know if I want to say it will give it a run for its money, but it is also a fantastic inventor contender for good looking games. Tell them about the push. Are you talking about when you could how you could load up your shout and like just push enemies? Yeah, that's a, that's a new thing in this game. This game like really innovates on the login formula. Because here's the end. Here's the ending of the game. So that's the that's the first level, and it's a lot more intricate than the original first levels. Oh yeah, we're gonna get login eating the screen too. A cute touch. The way the 3D parts of the background pan reminds you of the DS Castlevania. Yeah, there's a lot of 2.5D games that use that kind of background scrolling. It looks really nice. And I feel like this song might be a remix of an old song, but I can't put my finger on it. And here's another, here's the climbing wall climbing. By the way, you're gonna see some sprite tearing on these, uh, but like right here, there's sprite tearing on the background stuff, and that's just an emulation problem. I can't fix that, but it's fine. It doesn't really affect gameplay. Wagon used the super shell. He plays himself to release the super shell. Yeah, this this, this game makes inflation with Wagon Cannon, which is maybe unfortunate. I I, I like the uh, I like the emphasis it puts on how hard he's inhaling. Okay, now we got the we got the strongest shout. Which is one of my favorite noises in the game. And I've said this before, but man, it's so nice on this game that you can uh, actually make your like you, you you can shoot three shouts at once instead of having to shoot one and hope that like, it hits. Mega Man really innovated by having be having you be able to shoot three shots at once. Also, you've been, you'll notice I'm selecting these medals. These are pretty much like the, co the star coins from New Super Mario Brothers. So that's nice. And you'll notice all those bushes. I shot the bushes and some star fruit came out. It's just a... Uh, it's like how the older games when there was like secret spots where you shoot. And you'll find like little secrets. It's another tutorial. So the Super Wagonizer is still in this game. And this is what it does in this game. So when I grab that, I just touch the touch screen and... Uh, for lack of a better turn, go Super Saiyan. With the steel drums. Do you get alternate routes for medals? No, you actually just get to play mini games with them. So they're not really worth collecting, but for this stream, I'm probably going to try to get 100% with them. This pretty much just lets you cheat the levels too, because you can be used at any time. I can't shout with it. And just like the original game, um, whenever you use the, whenever you get the invincibility, your shout is downgraded to level one again, which is unfortunate. I love when he's running up the walls. He's trying really hard. It's really good. I love this. Okay, warning. Uh, I'm going to be trying my best not to squee during this game. Yeah, there's there are certain games that make me want to squee, and this is definitely way up there. Hey, Wagan has never been so adorable. And he's always been really cute, but like this game just elevates it to a new level. And I, I, can't, I can't help it. And you'll notice the cute little clouds in the background being different shapes too. Honestly, it kind of makes it feel like a baby game, but you know, Wagon's always been somewhat of a baby game. Okay, I, I'm just really looking for a microphone so I can increase my shout size. I like that they, uh, that they actually modeled the shout too. Really nice. This game's production values and presentation are just incredible. It's a 2009 DS game, so it's a little bit late, which will explain why it looks so good. And another level down. Hey, if we go quick enough, I might be able to do three worlds tonight. And there's a total of eight worlds in this game, so if I do two worlds tonight, it's going to be a four-part stream. A game about wordplay and math tests. Yeah, pretty much. So we're going to... There's our first challenge. It's going to be Shady Toddy, so I'm going to be safe stating. And I need to use the touchscreen for this. So, uh, hold on a second. Okay. Nice little presentation. So, I need to get eight right. Okay, so let's go ahead and save state. I could use keyboard shortcuts, but I don't, I don't trust myself with them. So... Oh, got it right, cool. 
We got it right, that means we get one safe state. So, constant, constant pausing, and I don't trust myself with keyboard shortcuts, so we're just gonna keep pausing for safe states. You see Login gets stunned whenever you pick the wrong one. The loading screens are really good, yeah. Also, you may have noticed, if you, if you Login fans have been watching since Login Land 2, this is a, uh, this is a remix of the, the, the Shady Toddy music from the first, uh, from the second Login Land game. They've actually been using this, like, this song since that game a lot. And it's nice to hear in this, in this next game. So you can see the, the pictures are also super adorable. This is so unfortunate that I have to keep like, skipping the music, but it's fine. You know, I probably have enough time I could just kind of brute force this without save states. Let's try it. Let's see how far I get without save states. I have 72 seconds, and I lose like 5 seconds each time I miss it. But this is, this is easy enough. Cool. Is that a bear or a dog? Oh, that's cute. So, something nice in this game is when you get locked, it just starts you off on a different board. So that's really nice. So you can't really get locked in this game, so... That's one of the reasons why I like this game so much. Now, if only it was in English. Looks like he's getting fired up because I'm, I'm about to win soon. I believe my mouse cursor is on screen too, which is a little unfortunate, but at least you can see where my uh, quote-unquote stylus is. Yes, all these all these uh, tiles are actually based off what was in the original Wagon Land games. Like we got eyeglasses, cat, factory, watermelon, like all those were in the original. And we win. Don't get angry at Wagon, it's not his fault you're losing. It's true. It's the power of Wagon's loading and saving states. You also get graded. I got a, bro a bronze Wagon, but that's fine. I'm never gonna get gold Wagon in the Shitty Torty unless I just load and save state like crazy. Alright, so here's one of the mini games. Oh, hold on a second. So, okay. So if I press round and right stick, that's like, this is what it looks like when I close the DS. Don't worry about it. So here's the mini game. So for this mini game, you actually have to use blow into the mic to do this. I don't think, I don't think you can actually like do it without blowing into the mic. So I have blowing into the mic as a uh, extra button set for my left stick. This would really suck to have to blow into the mic for. I don't think I cannot set it to a button. It's fine. So. Wagon is filled with determination. He definitely is. Don't worry. He goes through quite a story in this game. All right. So here's the, the, the tutorial on the side levels. You remember the side levels from the originals, right? Because this is what this is. And. This is another remix from an older Wagon game. I forget exactly which one. It might be Super Wagon Land, but it might be before that too. So the sides work differently on here. In the original Wagon Land games, you want to not jump during the sides, but in here you're supposed to time them for when you want the most distance. Okay, so here's the mini game. This is the Wagon Copter, and the Wagon Copter has been delegated to a mini game rather than a. Uh, the usual like level so in here it's just a bonus game where you just rotate on the touchscreen and honestly this sucks with the mouse but I'm doing my best I fear that this is a remix too my mouse is going off the screen I'm glad the wagon the wagon copter is in here in some way. Right, these fruits are just for one ups, so I don't actually have to collect them. I, I entered at 69, so that's good. Yeah, my wagon copter goes schwa 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 schwa. I swear, there's always someone who says that, and I'm glad for it. Oh, the, the level's over with. That's fine. Yeah, that's the spin. That's such a cute touch. I can't get over it. Like, I, I want to squeeze so bad every time. I think he's even cute right there.
another tutorial. This is going to be a tutorial on just how to break blocks with your shout. Which is another cool thing. I don't think Wagon's ever broken blocks with his shouts, but then again, you couldn't really like load your shouts in the other games. And another tutorial. Wait, can I just skip it? Oh, if I press B, I skip it. I should just do that more often. That was a tutorial on just pushing enemies with your shout. I love that you could just run with your breath held like this. It's funny. Can I make it? Nope. I think I have to wait for that butterfly to come up so I can shoot. Uh, shoot it or push it. I just do that. I might have pushed it too far. No, I'm fine. Cool. Cute touch in a DS game. I see what you did there. <laughs> I wish I was that clever. Oh, oh god, oh god. So once again, this is a uh, one-hit KO game, but this might be one of the easiest games, particularly because it's so well designed that you won't really die unless you uh, are bad. In the other games, sometimes it feels like it's not your fault. Just drop the block. Again, right now, it looks like nothing special. I assure you, it'll get good. It'll, it gets better. So here's the eggshell helmet. We've seen this in Wagon Land 2 in one stage because I got rid of it right away. But it basically gives, it's basically like a sonic shield. So Wagon has one more hit. Just gives him one more HP. That's all. I don't think this is a remix of anything. It's just a cute song, but it sounds pretty in line with the music in this series. Anything up there? No. Sometimes you don't want to break the blocks because they're part of a puzzle. Kind of like how New Super Mario Bros. has puzzles for uh, the star coins and stuff. Like that. Like, let's go get that, let's go get that metal down there. Yeah, it's the egg. So this is a simple puzzle. Just drop the block. And again, those medals, all it does is let's me play that little mini game where I use the mic. So nothing special. Let's cr let's crush Wagon now. <laughs> I love it. I love that he just gets squished down. He doesn't die, he just gets squished down. It has a cute little squeak noise too. And backflip. Oh, he doesn't backflip. He just jumps. Yeah, eggs in the chat for the eggshell the eggshell helmet. So here's another mini game. This time I don't think it's shitty toddy. Oh, this time it's concentration. I can do this without having to uh, save state. How could you crush Wagon? Don't worry, he's fine. Oh, here's a song from Wagon Land One. This is the original card game song. They gave kind of like a bar feel. Oh, it's so much faster on here. Which is nice. Got it. I need one more. One more night one. And I just got it. <laughs> See, he's got a pattern just like the old games. Stage clear. And I actually got a golden wagon statue from that too. Oh, I don't get anything for, anything for that. Okay, they don't they don't grade me for that one. Sure. Next stage. Here's a cool song. This it's very spacey. It's just a bunch of star fruit. I don't know why there's suddenly star fruit. I don't I don't think Wagon actually eats. Go Goku mode. No, I, I, I'm not going to do that unless I absolutely have to. I don't think there's any time in this game where you have to, though. Which is nice. So here's an enemy where it jumps in the air. And the whole gimmick with this enemy is usually it jumps in the air and you have to shoot it in midair. Like this. Oh, don't fall off, though. That's not, that, one was, that one was my fault, because this game controls, like, heaven. Like, I'm so glad that this game controls as well as it does like they it's developers that really care 
I don't think it's the original Wagon team either. When you collect 100 star fruits, you get an extra life. Yeah, that's. I think I said it earlier. They're just, they're just for extra lives. More more games like this should have a little hover mechanic like this. It's nice. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. I should, now I gotta wait for him to get uh, get unfrozen again. Can I make that? I can. Nice. Look at it. It's a golden wagon statue. So that's where this is from. And notice that it's in the shape of the original wagon. As opposed to the wagon in this game. I thought that was a nice touch. Because that's a nice way to bring the original wagon into this series. Wagon copter. Yes, I will get 69 lives. Probably more. This game is easy to have lives in. Also, unlike Wagon Paradise, it's nice to have the Wagon Copter again. Well, let's not get shocked. Ooh, careful, careful. Don't fall. Oh god, I got shocked. It's fine though. Wagon can still fly. Oh, this sucks. <laughs> Wagon, watch out for the power line. Yeah, he's so happy when he bounces and I love it. There will be a whole stage dedicated to that later, so we're going to see Happy Wagon a lot. This one's definitely a lot more childish than the Wagon we're used to. I don't even, th I don't even think this one has kids. Like this, The way that he gets summoned gives the implication that T is a a savior of sorts that gets summoned when needed. Which I like that. I like that idea for Wagon. Okay, so... Where's the medals at? There's the medal. Cool. So we got all the medals in the stage. I need to double check the first stage if I got the medals because I was not paying attention. So I really don't need to get these pots anymore because I have a uh, full meter and unlike the unlike where it said pow in the old games It's just a login face and it shows how many uh, how many power-ups you have Do I need to go up there? You know, let's go up there. I, I feel like I should go up there like, the, the goal is right there, but like they have this enemy that they want me to shoot and then push so I can get up here Maybe there's something good up here. There's more star fruits and is this a one-up? It's a one-up! You got the Golden Wagon statue. Always glad to get the Golden Wagon statue. Even though we are now at 11 lives. Oh, hold on a second. Sorry. Okay, so here's the first boss. We're gonna fight Shady Toddy Man. And, of course... It's Shady Toady, so I'm going to have to load and save state constantly. So get ready for that. And this is a song from Wagonland 3. It was the music for that uh, that one level where the gravity was heavy. I don't know why it's a puzzle, a puzzle song in here, but it's fine. Alright, so this is going to be versus Shady Toady. So basically I'm just going to throw and just pick what he picks when I load state. Okay, so what's the Japanese castle? That's fine. So load state. At least they get straight to the point. Yeah, this uh, this game is very great for like what the, it's just so much better than how the old series was. Where the fuck is this guy going? Okay, he's going to the rocket. So, so we get the rocket. I need to get ten of these too. So we're gonna keep getting a bunch of safe states. Look at this cute fox. Look at this horse. Everything else is so cute in this game. Like, he's moving towards what, what it is. We're gonna see a lot of Wagon getting surprised, it's true. 
The horse says hell hungry. <laughs> say again, like I always say, I'm sorry that I had to keep safe stating this, but I can't read Japanese. Something else nice though is if you look on the top screen, it tells you which letter is next. It's very stylized and it actually tells you like what each of, well I mean the old games did that I guess, but uh, it's nice to have like so clear. See the bottom screen it shows what the last letter was too, that you had to get. Well, in this game, the character, the Kana. It's the fox. I should have known it was the fox, not the stupid squirrel. I love that it has to say a gigantic save to slot 1, loaded from slot 1 every time. These genie designs are really good. The, the, the character designs in this game are great. I feel like Dr. Devil has never looked better. Though, I way prefer Wagen's old look. Okay, we win. Alright, cool. And of course we're gonna get a Golden Wagon statue, because uh, I cheated. That, that's fine. No one will ever know. Yeah, this game has a lot of good style to it. So here's a new video clip. Um, he's just freaking out about how he could have lost to this little child. So I guess Wagon's a kid in this game. And I love that how Wagon just tapped his foot. There he goes, he's sealed away now. And then we got a chest. I'm not exactly sure what these chests are for. They don't seem to do anything, but that's probably because I don't read that. I, I think right there it tells, says what it is, but I never translated that, so whatever. Okay, next world. And that took less than half an hour, so I think we're going to be able to get three worlds done. So, next world starts with this village that Wagen stumbles upon. Wagen sent the genie to the Shadow Realm. <laughs> You know, look at the skipping. Also, they did good on making these look like environments rather than just set drops. You know, Wagen jumps in and sees the, uh... <laughs> and finds these kids crying. They talk about how all the adults in the village got their wisdom stolen, now they can't move. By the way, this music's from the first Wagen Land game. It's pretty subtle, though. Does this game have a smiley tree? No, it doesn't. So here's the next Majin. I believe he was called Mistake Man, like the way it translated, and he's basically just like, you gotta spot the difference in the in the images, you'll see that. So next is the Jungle Forest level. You know what I find strange is that I love forest levels, but I don't like jungle levels. I don't like how saturated jungle levels are in their mechanics. But this jungle looks great. Look at that background. Oh, we got alligators too. Crocs in the chat for alligators. We're like never gonna have the alligators move and just gonna shout at them all the time. So that this mud acts like the quicksand in pretty much any game ever, but also in Wagon Land too. Genies aren't yokais. I don't know why someone said that they're yokais when genies are not yokai. I don't like that at this many years after Crisis, jungle levels still tank the frames. No, this game this game just doesn't run at the smoothest frame rate, which is it was par for the course for DS games anyway, so I could forgive it. They only look like yokai because they're ghosts, and go go yokai is just like. Those are just like Japanese mischief ghosts. Genies are from an entirely different culture, yeah. And you notice that like genie characters in Japanese media are usually called Majin. Uh, Majin Buu being the obvious example. He's he looks like a genie. Yeah, he did he did have a Rubik's cube for a head. Sorry, I had to do something while I wait. 
Uh, oh, there's a metal. Let's get the metal up there. Oh god, don't get hit by the alligator. And metal. Alright, cool. We got all three metal pieces. Stage clear. And he eats the screen again. Oh, another one. So this is an interesting mini game where there is a Japanese word there, and we need to drag the Japanese tile into the spot so we can uh, finish the word. Hey, there's another one I might probably have to save state for. Well, not this first one, but later on. I mean, those spaces are obviously Japanese inspired because it's like a Japanese person designed this game. But they're still genies in certain. In a certain well, they're not really genies because they don't grant wishes, but Japanese are kind of weird with that kind of thing. Alright. 15 star fruit, thank you. I feel like with the way they the way they do the minigames in this game, they're a lot less pace breakers because instead of ending the level with it, they're just on the world map. And some of them you can actually skip if you want. But we're going for somewhat of 100%, so... I don't think we'll be skipping any. I'll admit, I don't like this game's use of uh, stock noises, but it's understandable. Only dragons can offer wishes if you offer them your balls. <laughs> I mean, you're not wrong about that. That's such an obvious joke to make, though. Everyone knows Dragon Ball. But does everyone know that Dragon Ball and Dragon Ball Z aren't as good as you think they are? I said it. There's a, we're supposed to go down there, but you can see by these rocks there's an obvious little secret path up here. Oh, here's another mini game. So, this is a different kind of login. Instead of login copter, it's the login mole. And the way it controls is you have to rotate this to make login dig, and you also have to like drag it to aim login where he's got to go. So it's a... Uh, I don't really like it. But it's fine. It could be worse. By the way, let me know if this setup looks good. Like, I, I put the title on the lower right, since that's the way the DS works best. I think it should be fine. If anyone has any suggestions what else I should put, then maybe we can do it. But I think the title is fine. Wagon Dig Dug. No, it's not Dig Dug. It's more like the uh, those digging minigames from the first Mario Party. I forgot what it's called. It's like Treasure Tracker or something. I've been thinking of uh, Captain Toad. There's some like, like treasure chest digging minigame. Let's push you over there. So I can get this. I didn't even need it, but I want to get everything anyway. Dragon Ball isn't as good as I thought it was. What? Whole next whole what's next whole episode just like how strong someone is isn't good writing. You know, I I think I brought this up before, but uh, I w I tried watching that Dragon Quest the Adventures of Dai anime, and I was like, oh, I love Dragon Quest. Let's watch this, and I realized that I hate it because I'm just not into showing an anime, and that's how Dragon Ball is. So I like I realized I don't like Dragon Ball as much as I used to because I, I'm old enough to realize that showing an anime sucks. Oh god, I want to take a closer look at those gators. They're cute. Okay, you know, next time I find one, I will, I will show it. These are the local Rokus. But yeah, I'll, I'll take a good look at the gators next time. Wait, don't go on that yet. Can I get up there? I don't want to press the button because there might be a secret button, and you'll see more about those later. Oh, no, there's just a. This is a one-up golden wagon statue. All right. We're not done with the gator jets, so we'll get a good look at them soon. There's a lot of cute enemies in this game. This game is just adorable. What can I say? I live in Florida. I see gators. No, I don't actually see gators all the time, unfortunately. Okay, so here's the first uh, of the mistake mini games. You just gotta spot what's like what the wrong picture is. 
I think he had to circle it with the stylus too, so time for more mouse. You got this cute music from Wagon Land 2 again. So, let's see. The wrong one is this one, of course. Oh, I can just tap it. No. Oh, yeah, I do just tap it. I thought I had to draw a circle. This one has a different cloud. And this, look at that Wagon Eye. <laughs> it's like a star. And this one doesn't have the right little sign up here. One more. And there's the funny looking Wagon Eye again. That is a good eye. I watched Dragon Quest Your Story and my god. You know, I, you said more, but that's all I had to hear. Dragon Quest Your Story sucks. I hate it so much. And the worst part is like, it wasn't even that good before the, the ending ruined it. Oh my god, I hate Dragon Quest Your Story. Dragon Quest V is one of my favorite games ever, so seeing it tarnished like that, it's just... Oh, it hurts. Oh man, why did they do that? The worst part is like, Dragon Quest V, it's more set up to be a trilogy rather than having to be a, a like a feature lane film. Because there's just too much that happens in that game. You can't just restrict it to an hour and a half. Kind of like how the Mario movie should have been a little longer. Okay, here's a new minigame as well. So this is a surfing minigame, and in this one, instead of rotating it, you just you just control Wagon up and down. I saw a snippet of the Adventures of Die, and I only remember a big pink crocodile man. Uh, he's not even the best character, if you can believe it. The crocodile is pretty good, but uh, the best character is actually just a villain who never got who never gets justice. There's a way to make Wagon somersault, and I I did it before, but I could not. I don't remember how to do it. These are Club Penguin minigames. I've never played Club Penguin, so no, but there's a mushroom cloud back there, and I love it. And that's a good kind of mushroom cloud. We don't want to see an actual mushroom cloud in Wagon. Do not do not mushroom cloud Wagon, please. Yeah, those minigames are pretty cool. I like those ones because they don't, they're they they're one and done. They don't, oh god. They don't break the pace like the original, like, shitty tardy games and stuff do. Another one up. All hail the golden Wagon statue. Oh, I forgot to press the button. <laughs> like how a minute later someone else said it reminds them of Club Penguin minigames. We are on the same wavelength even if it even if you're a minute late. Oh, I don't remember what this mini Oh, this minigame is I think he asked a question, you gotta answer with the, the right picture, so. You want to save state? You notice that it says two hearts because I can only mess up twice. I've never played Club, Club Penguin. I grew up with actual video games. Though I did play Neopets for a bit. Okay. Matter the answer changed. So is it ice cream or egg? It's egg. Eggs in the chat for eggs, guys. I wish I grew up playing the Wagon games. I'd probably be smarter if I did. God, those images are so cute. We did it. We didn't cheat at all. We beat that as we should have. They got 15 star fruit for it. What did you link? I hate this image. I hate it because it's true. If you uh, if you love Dragon Quest V and have any familiarity with it, and you know how Dragon Quest your story is, this image uh, makes sense, and that's why I hate it so much. I don't even want to look at the other thing you linked. It's fine. 
Let's get this filth off my screen. Yeah, who makes friends online anyway? Don't watch Dragon Quest your story, guys. Just play Dragon Quest V. I, I assure you, Dragon Quest V is worth the 35 hours you put into it. Oh, God. Yeah, I had a friend... Like, after I watched that movie, a friend made that image for me. And I hate it. And I hate that movie. Like, I was actually legit angry after that movie. There's not a lot of things that could put me in a foul mood like that. Like, when it comes to actual movies and stuff. But, man, that... that, that, that that got me. I'm still salty about it to this day. I messed this one up. I remember it was so hype when I heard they were making a Dragon Quest V movie. And it took so many years and got so many delays. And when it comes out, Jesus Christ. I still remember uh, hearing Japanese fans really hated that movie. And it's like... What, what could be the problem? Oh, what do you think the fucking problem is? I'm not even gonna spoil it, it just, it's not even worth it. And I'm still ranting about it too. I'm glad I know fellow haters of that movie. And the only people, I see a lot of people say, Oh, Dragon Quest, your story was so good. But the only people who like it are the people who just never play Dragon Quest. They don't realize how bad it is. Like, you need to know, I didn't grow up with Dragon Quest V. Like, I just played it naturally. I, I bought, like, the 3DS games, Dragon Quest 4, 5, and 6. Just, like, I saw them, like, I'm gonna get into Dragon Quest. And, uh, I played it naturally, and, like, naturally became one of my favorite games ever. And then I... Uh, it is such a near and dear game to me. As someone who's never seen the movie, now I'm tempted. No, don't bother. Just, like, what? just play Dragon Quest V, please. If you love RPGs, you'd owe it to yourself to play Dragon Quest V. This, th these tree branches are so broken. Let's talk more Wagon. Unfortunately, there's not, there's just not a lot to talk about with Wagon. Why not both at the same time? Because the movie sucks. The movie is awful. If you watch the movie, it'll ruin Dragon Quest V for you. I mean, kind of. I can't... You know what? Actually, I did I did not even think about Dragon Quest, your story. I have not thought about that movie in years. And then someone brought up from... Now I'm, now I'm angry again. Great. I'm in a bad mood, and I'm playing Wagon Land. Wagon Adventure on the DS. And I'm in such a bad mood. Great. Can this not get any worse? I am definitely nerd-raging. You know, I just have a lot of passion for that series. There's a lot to talk about with Wagen, but there's also a lot to shout about. True. You know, I'm not even a screamer. I can't scream. If I shout, like I've actually been in a legit fight where I, I like I had to yell over people, and like at a certain threshold, my voice just cuts off if I try yelling. It's weird. Does it anyone? Does that happen to anyone else? I am curious. Like, is that just a me thing? I assume it's because my voice isn't trained for yelling, because I don't I barely yell ever. Look at the Wagen, you'll feel better. That's true. Wagen makes me happy. It makes me want to squee. Wagen makes me want to squee like an anime fan on prom night. Just look at him. And now I'm angry. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna hold it again that Mighty Number no. Nine, the best thing that game's ever done for me is the three dollars I got back when I sold it. I bought it for nine dollars too, which is well the price it should have launched at. I'm like a walk-in fan, I'm prom night. Yeah, the, 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 the one wagon fan in the US, me. Actually, you know what? I, I still need to appreciate the fact that so many of you have been coming to my wagon land streams. It's very nice. I remember when the Sonic Twitter made fun of the trailer for Mighty Number no. 9, then released Sonic Forces right after? <laughs> That's a knee slapper. 
I'm never playing out Sonic Forces, by the way. Sonic cannot force me to enjoy his shitty games. You got no knees. Wagon has no knees. I have knees. I wish I was built like Wagon. I wish I was cute like Wagon. Okay, level done. Sonic is destined to be a joke now. It's so it's so sad. You know what's funny is that Sonic games. There's there's always been bad Sonic games even in the nineties. It's just the the. the the Sega Genesis and Mega Drive games were so good, people didn't realize how bad they can be. Oh! Sorry, I closed the DS on accident. I closed my Nintendo DS that I'm streaming on. You can't kneel if you have no knees. Wagyan kneels to no one. People answer to Wagyan. That's an easy minigame. It's only hard because of the stupid microphone that I never had to use for that. Did the game just get louder? So this world is two streams long, which is longer than the first world. You got this sleepy music again. I want that pot. That's such a terrifying noise. <laughs> I love it so much. I could play the whole stage inflated if I want. Did you say Wagon's like Ristar? How's Wagon like Ristar? Ristar is known for grabbing, not shouting. Please explain. You know I like Ristar, but there's not a lot about a lot about the game I remember. Just that the music's really good. And that Sonic team can make good things that aren't Sonic. Then again, that was old Sonic team. I don't think any of the good staff is left over at Sega. Well, you notice these little flags in the ground, they tell you uh, how far you are on the level. And I believe they're also checkpoints, so when you die, you start at those flags. Why are those local rookos shooting lemons at me? Okay, next part. Maybe you shout next to someone in real life. Is the stun similar to a grab? No, I don't think that's a I don't think that's a command grab. Unless you're talking about like uh the whole wrist star thing. No, he's not grabbing, he's just stunning. Balan Wonderball creator, Yuji Naka? Right, he's the one who insisted on Sonic CD and Sonic CD sucks. Funny enough, like all the good Sonic games are made in the West. Sonic 2, no wait, Sonic 3 was, Sonic, was Sonic 3 Western? Oh God. Wait, no, I think Sonic 3 was actually Japanese, my bad. Sonic 2 was Western though. If you scream at someone in real life, they'll get knocked out. <laughs> Depends on how strong the scream is. I remember when I first got my dog Ruby. She was she's she's a little rambunctious pup. So uh I remember like whenever it was like 3 a.m. and she heard a noise, she would bark so loud. She would like screech. Scared the fuck out of me. Whenever I whenever it's that late and I was trying to sleep. Bella Wonderboard Crater also got arrested, no relation to the game though. Yeah, I think he got arrested for for uh leaking insider secrets or something. For stocks. He got he got a reservoir stonks. Also, don't forget his name is Yuji Naka. Don't let him forget his off his, his name and his deeds. Okay, so um, I'm supposed to do something here. I'm not sure what. Oh, I had to push that butterfly over there. Okay. This baby game stumped me for a second there. I'm sorry, but you know this isn't the first time I failed you guys. Ooh. They have like single tile logs here. As a challenge, that's cute. Like I said, Yugi Na Yuji Naka was arrested for insider trading when it came to stocks. He got arrested for stonks. Oh, there's a uh, there's a medal over there. I forgot to get. Oh, 
Oh, I can't get that. I need to go up there to get it. That's fine. Oh, that is a high butterfly. There we go. Now I got it. You know, I could use my uh, super mode right now t to get up here, but I, I want to do it the legit way. Uh, you know, it actually makes me think about how I think one thing that I don't like about Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom is how open it is. Because I like having I like having fun trying to find the intended solution to the puzzles, but like so many of the puzzles can be done anyway that there's it's hard to find the intended solution. It really makes me miss the old linear Zelda games. It also reminds me why Ocarina of Time is still the best Zelda. Okay, what's this minigame? This game, this minigame is another one where you gotta like spot the difference in the pictures. Let's do that. I don't remember if you have to circle this one or not. You gotta get five. I miss when I could recognize the Zelda area just off a screenshot. That's also true. Those games just have too much in them. <gasps> the Wagonizer! Oh, that's so cool! They actually had the Im the image for that. That's cool. Oh, I love that. I've never seen that in this game. There's a shark with a mustache. I've seen another Easter egg, but it's not. I, that's not the one I saw. I love that they showed the actual wagonizer. That that, that was a toy, based off the original uh, the original wagon that you could actually buy. It's like it was the wagonizer, and what it was was like a shouting device where it kind of like you ever seen those uh. Those image, those like toys, with the wagon is the one is auto and out. You ever seen those toys where like you shout and you like you talk into it, and, like it makes your voice sound like an alien? That's what the wagonizer toy was like in real life. What other, like I'll spoil the fact I saw a Taiko no Tatsujin reference in this game. I, I'm wondering what other images are shown. I guess I could dig through the files and find. I actually dug through the files and found how Wagon's model is stored and like, he just collapsed into a pile. It's funny. There's a snail. You know, I never looked back at the, uh, oh, there's the alligator. Can I see it from here though? You can't really see it because it's stuck in the mud. It, hopefully, it'll, hopefully we'll find one above ground that we can look at. But I told, I told someone I would look at it closer. By the way, when we're done with all these wagon games, I'm gonna do a small tier list of the wagon games, like for my personal, like what I think is the best and worst one. This one's definitely at the top of the list, though. I don't know if it's obvious why yet. I mean, I've only done two worlds, but it, again, it just this is one of those games that gets actually this is one of those series that just gets better and better as it goes along, which is pretty rare for a long-running series. Though mind you, I think there was a 15 year gap between this game and the last game. I think Wagon Paradise was in, two, in 1994. This game is in 2009. Or, yeah, 2009. But Wagon wasn't really dead during that time. Wagon had a lot of uh, guest appearances in other Namco games. There's a way to rip, 3D, the, the D, rip DS models in Blender, but I don't know where I saw it. I, uh, I did rip the model, but I don't know how to open it. So I guess I, I should have just looked that up, but it's fine. 3D makes everything better. Just look at Superman for proof. I I love that Superman, uh, Superman uh, 64 will never be lived down. Wait, I need that enemy to get up here. Now I gotta wait for it to slowly come here. And just like Super, New Super Mario Brothers, like the the enemies are sprites, while the main character is a uh, 3D model. Okay, I just came up for the star fruits. That's fine. I mean, if you're not, I mean, it's not, um, I, I see someone saying, like, I know what you're referencing for Super Mario 64. I was like, Superman 64, that obscure. Everyone knows what that is. I remember when I, like, when I was a kid, when I was a kid and I was looking for games, like, my, my, my parents used to rent games all the time because we weren't really, uh, rolling in money. 
And I remember wanting to rent Superman 64 as a kid because I liked the animated series when I was younger. Younger. And uh, I'm glad I never rented that game as a kid. That would have been a terrible weekend. This is like Mario Galaxy music. I, I guess kind of. What about this one? It's you know what's weird is like the wagon copter. Like he's still using his head, but on the little on the touch screen. He has the, the little copter icon. I guess that's a good way to show the wagon copter. Even though that's not, he doesn't actually have a literal helicopter on his head. Superman ruined forever. To be fair, like, it's a comic book thing. Comic book things are just ruined in general these days. I say that when I'm not even a comic book nerd. But there's something I notice is I. Like, oh god. Oh, I fell. That's fine. It just ends the minigame early. But I notice, like,. You 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 like you're just not respected as the comic book nerds anymore. Like you're you're either a movie guy or a comic book guy. You can't just be both. Look at Saucy before he gets crushed. Though maybe I'm just dabbling in opinions I I don't have. I don't know. I don't actually like comics, so I really just can't have an opinion on this. Why am I talk why am I still talking? You know, it's better than ranting about Dragon Quest your story. Oh, oh god, I lost my eggshell. I'm stuck. Well, RIP eggshell helmet. That's what I get for dabbling in stuff I don't I know nothing about. Oh god. Rant about Dragon Ball. I already talked about how bad how shonen anime sucks. Comic books are actually ruined now. Everything feels like I'm not Starfire's daughter, daughter of the comic. Well, isn't that a DC thing? I assume Marvel's not, any, not much better. I hear a lot of bad things about comics these days. Makes me glad I never got into them. Actually, you know, something I hear is like, Everyone scrutinizes the Sonic games for being mediocre, but then I hear people talking about how good the comics are, but like, I don't care. I don't read comics, and I don't care about the supplementary materials like that. Like, as much as I love the Mario movie, I actually could have lived without it. I would have been fine, but I haven't had a new Mario game, and I'm kind of starving here. Don't, re don't forget how the Joker got pregnant. I actually didn't- oh, so that's a one-up switch. From now on, every stage is going to end with a regular switch and a 1-up switch, and the 1-up switch is going to have like a little puzzle to solve. It's kind of like how the newer Mario games has a little puzzle to get to the top of the flagpole. I really love that idea. Anyway, didn't one of the Transformers get pregnant in one of the comics as well? Have you ever heard about Annaline? It's made by the same guy who made Anton Ball. I think you might like it. I might... I had to check it out at some point. DM me about it. I was so close to forgetting about Pregnant Joker. <laughs> Do you guys feel like the Joker and Harley Quinn blew up way long, way more than they should have? It makes you think about how apparently like people feel like Star Wars got bigger than it needed to. You gotta find Wagen in this image. He's right here. So he's called Mistake Man. I think the mistake is like looking for what it th doesn't belong in right here. I guess Wagon doesn't belong in this image. That was kind of tough because he's green and he blended in with the greenery. Here's the shark with the mustache. That is... Oh, there's two... Oh, no. no. Oh, yeah, there's two of them. Okay. Where's the set? What's up there? That was close. At least pregnant Joker isn't inflated knees. Too true. So Joker and Harley Quinn became another hot topic dynasty out of nowhere. It's true. Probably because they're edgy. Is Gur still like the hot topic mascot? That one's actually kind of tough. Oh, I gotta get one more. Up there. 
Gur is eternal. I don't think Gur is a hot topic mascot. I don't know. Sometimes they go into hot topic just to browse around, but I, there's there's just nothing in there for me. I guess there never has been. I think when I was really into Adventure Time, there was, but like I just don't care. Ricky Morty's the new hot topic mascot. That's weird. You know, he defeated him, and every one of these every one of these cutscenes play out the same. The Majin talks about how he can lose to this guy and gets sealed away. Actually, what's funny is Mistake Man actually talks about how uh, he's always been a failure anyway, and I feel kind of bad for him. How many more Rick and Morty shirts did you see? I don't know. I don't care. I didn't look that hard on it. Okay, next world. I think next world is a beach level. So, uh... Those kids joined Wagon on his adventure, and they're having fun at the beach. Because they're going to go look for a way to stop Dr. Devil and get their village saved. I like how Wagon held his, held his hand, like, stop here. So, I think, I forget what this one's called, I'm just going to call him Twin Man. Oh, he's, no. I think he's Memory Man, because he plays the Memory Match minigame. Concentration Man. And that's why he's a twin, because he's, you know, like, he comes in pairs. So of course, it's just it's it's just they're asking like why did, why why aren't they stopping them like did let's let us go so we can go to Doctor Devil. He attacks, but Wagen easily just stuns those enemies. I love how he knocks them away. Wagen stun, Wagen shout does not work on the Majin as you can see, which is kind of neat. I guess that's that's to explain why he always does card games instead because his shouts do not work on these enemies. It works on Doctor Devil though. That's weird. Okay, so this is a beach and underwater level. And unlike Mario, like this water levels aren't too bad. And once again, look at these look at these nice backgrounds. I like I, I feel like it's actually like an actual like beach I'm at. It's nice. And this is a song from the, the first world. There's a good variety of music. You know, that's actually been true for the entire series though. There's always been like a good variety of music for Wagen. It has gotten better too because the first Wagon Land game, I think the, the loops are like 5 to 10 seconds long, but they've become full fledged songs in this game. Yeah, the Dolphin Cloud is cute. What is that thing? Oh! Cool, we got a golden wagon statue, so we got to the next place. Look at those rapids back there. <laughs> yeah, I didn't notice when I first played this game, but I love how wagon is actually like muffled in the water. Oh, I just noticed now that the the little icon in the upper left, like it moves every time you shout. That's cute. This splash noise sucks. Divided by three dolphin. Yeah, so here's a neat thing. So Wagon doesn't swim like other protagonists What he does is he floats so every time you flutter Wagon like goes upward. So this is how you swim in the water Basically Wagon's just kicking his legs that fast Because just like in the original one he can't swim but at least he doesn't drown right when he hits the water. It's neat What is that structure in the back? I want to see it. Look at this, like a giant starfish. I like it. This is such a neat way to do swimming. I like it. Another, another nice thing is that these controls don't completely change like Mario does. Well, there's a the one up. Let's get it. Got it. And all hail the golden wagon statue. Wagon breaks the laws of physics by walking in water. Yeah, I mean, there's been other video game protagonists that walk in water, but they, there's never really been one that floats in water the way Wagon does. This series is- oh, I forgot one of the models. I didn't feel back for them, but it's fine. This this series, like, does a lot of good things that uh, others don't. Oh, so here's Marbles. You guys played Marbles before, like, like Tiddlywinks and stuff? Come on. 
So this one is you, you just use this adorable login marble to uh, knock down the enemy's marbles. Tiddlywinks is an actual game, guys. I want, I want this uh, login mar marble in real life. I guarantee you, if I had that login marble marble in real life, like 98% of my problems would be solved. There it goes. Tiddly winks, titty twinks. <laughs> you know what? Wagen does pug every time he opens his mouth. You know what? He's he's allowed to. This is such a good model for the DS. My God. We need to go back because I missed one of the medals here. In fact, I'm gonna have to do a cleanup and find the ones I did miss. And thankfully, like New Super Mario Brothers, you can tell like which one you missed. If I had a button maker, I could probably make that login as a button. We're speedrunning now. It's also nice that Wagon doesn't want, doesn't run too slow. I don't know how he runs like that though. He's just kind of bouncing in place and moving forward. This game would make a terrible speedrunning game, not just because of Shitty Toddy, but also because uh, it really is just running right the whole time. Everyone's just stuck on the Tiddlywinks comment. Oh! Oh god, I lost my eggshell helmet. Worst things have happened. I'll find another one. Oh! I almost skipped the, uh, the microphone again, or the, the last, um, metal. Uh, I think it's up here. I need to get it up. Alright, I see, like, Wagon can jump out of the water and, like, skip on the water. That's where it was. I- oh! Every time I play this game, I missed that one. You'd think I would learn. Well, now Wagon did a backflip. Oh god, I hope that he's not doing a backflip because I haven't got the other ones. Wait, did I do this mini? Do I have to do this mini game again? Oh no, oh, it's a different mini game now. That's fine, worst things have happened. Hey, these don't take too long. You know, like the other ones in the first game. I think this is another truth or dare or true or false one. Oh, so that's mushroom and nothing. Oh, I think this is the one where you gotta like drag. You gotta drag these here. That's a neat way to do it. But it gets hard later on. Yeah, this is a walk in land game that actually gets hard later on. Happy Wagyan. I don't think anyone's going to be able to get over Tiddlywinks this entire stream. Great. That's an actual game name. It's called Tiddlywinks. Look at, look at this beautiful underwater background. I don't think it's a hot take to say that underwater levels are some of the most beautiful in games. And look at, look at how nice this looks. You still get the like the clouds and like, those shaped clouds from the from the other levels, except there are bubbles in here. You can see that little uh, dolphin bubble. It is like a full fledged environment. Good on them for not making a 3D platformer either. They just made like a 2D game, like how Wagen is. I don't know why when you get the H shell helmet that Wagen is trapped in a rupee, but I, I approve of it. It's a water level, what else can I say? I'm just gonna keep gushing about the background. It's just like how Wagon Paradise had the really nice palettes for to really sell the mood. It is a shame we seem to be ha seem to have less people tonight. Because man, 
they're missing out on how nice this game looks. Is there something up here? This looks like a Klonoa enemy. You can't have an underwater level without the, the, the spray bubbles mechanic where it just pushes you in the water. It just seems to be a staple. I could do it without it. Underwater levels are cool if done right. Actually, uh, Yoshi's Story has some good underwater levels. I think this also has a good underwater level. Like The problem with underwater levels, and I don't think this is a controversial thing to say, is that most of the time the problem with water water levels is that they're usually way too slow. Like in Mario, you're going way slower, the controls are worse. In this game, it's like the controls aren't that different. They're just like lighter gravity and that's about it. This really is pretty. Look at that background. I cannot get over it. Okay, so that's the button to end the level, but the one up button's up here. Golden Wagon. Alright. Right, we're gonna fight these my genes here. Yeah, I think this is another concentration one. With the nice Wagonland 2 music. This is like a brother and sister. Oh, what the fuck? Wait, didn't you just flip that one over? Was that this one? No, it wasn't. Oh god! Wait, I just saw the boar. Where was the boar at? Was it this one? No, that's a boat. Where can the boat be? Right here? Nope, that's a factory. Man, good thing the computer is dumber than I am. I, why did I flip that over again? Oh god, I remember his shit. Oh no, he's got it. That computer's taking the lead. Man, the computer really is dumber than I am. That's a tomato. Fuck. Uh oh. Is this it? Alright, cool. Where is the tomato at? Was it this one? That's the boar. Oh no! No, I helped him! Oh no, I'm gonna get decimated again. Just like in Wagonland 2. <gasps> no! Oh. Okay, so. There's a factory right there. And is this one the squid? No, oh, that's the boar. No! Uh oh! Oh, this is bad. Okay, I lost. Oh, I really am that dumb. And now we got a sad Wagon. I have disappointed Wagon. This is my first life lost. And of course it's on a fucking memory game. Get Tiddly Winked. This is not Tiddly Winks. Oh god, I've been, I've Would it be a game? Would it be a stream if I didn't embarrass myself in some way? Face. Wagonland 2 flashbacks. Yeah, that was awful. Get Wagonland. Right. You got bamboozled. I bamboozled myself, honestly. Okay. 
Okay, so... I got two at least. I just need to get three more. Nice, nice. Look at the little wagon, like, looking around. That's so cute. Okay, so... Oh, chicken. Okay, cock, cock, cock! We got it. The patterns are a little trickier on this game. <laughs> Dick. What up, my Richards? Why is Dick short for Richard? Did it, does it, did anyone ever explain that? Like, why is Dick short for Richard? Also, I did that for a shitty mini. Oh no, that's also the way forward. So it's not just for the mini game. Because Richard is a total dick. Yeah, how do you get dick out of Richard? You ask him nicely. Joke is old as time. Because Johnson is long for dick? I don't get it. Wait, is there something down- is there something up here down there? I'm not sure which way is the way forward. I got an eggshell helmet though, so that's good. Alright, so I think- I think there's something down here I missed. No, I didn't. It was just a megaphone, great. I too long for dick. <laughs> You know, I remember seeing this post where this guy tries eating his cum for the first time and he says it just tastes like nothing. That was funny. Oh! Oh god! The shark kissed me! Oh god! Stop, get away! No kissies. He's after my Richard! Oh, get up there. Yeah, no shark kisses. Like, it looks like a mustache, but it could be big lips. Oh, here comes the bidet. It just goes straight up there, and he enjoys it. He loves it. He's enjoying that water up there. He's like, bidet to you too, good sir. Oh, go oh God. I got scared. I thought I was about to lose my... Eggshell helmet. Wait, how do I get up there? Oh, I come from above. That's fine. Yeah, that's definitely a mustache. That can't be lips. Well, you guys don't like bidets? Yeah, I've never actually used a bidet before. To, like, Has anyone here ever used a bidet? It's spelled bidets, but it's pronounced bidet. And once again, he enjoys it. He loves it. Wagan loves his bidet. I think there's something up here. Oh, I don't think I can go up this way. Let's go around then. Yeah, this is the way I had to go. For the one-up switch, now we get the golden wagon statue and be on our way. Get fucked. I'm so glad this game is streaming so smoothly. If we have not got a single job framed, I was kind of surprised. I was kind of afraid like this game would get problems over OBS, but it seems fine. Got 38 wagons left. It would have, it would have been 39, but I fucked up on the concentration game. There's a cute World 1 music again. Keep jumping, keep jumping. 
I'll be sad if a, if a DS game killed OBS. I mean, to be fair, there's been lesser things. I've dropped frames for lesser. Oh, oh god. Okay, big pelican. I lost my eggshell helmet, but that's fine. We got the big pelican. Ooh, I didn't make it up there. That thing is so inconsistent when it comes to damage. I swear, sometimes they get damaged anyway. When it comes to that that hermit crab thing. Okay, I don't know why I want to get up there, but I want to get up there. That's fine. I'll, I'll, I just have to respawn the pelicans. I could get up there. Are they back? The pelicans are not back. Let me go back a bit more. Is Wagan smaller? No. I don't, I don't think so. I lost my eggshell helmet, so maybe it looks smaller. If your login shrinks after losing an eggshell helmet, uh, consult your doctor. Oh, I made it up there. And there's... No oh, God. There's nothing here because I already got the metal. Great. Right, cool. Oh god! Oh, the full front, the full frontal assault is on. Is on. Let's go. No, oh, get up there, Wagon. Get up there, Wagon. Generally, when you leave the A, you get bigger. Then why the hell does Wagon look smaller to you? You ever like? have a shield in the game and you feel so unsafe and naked whenever you don't have it anymore. Oh, there's a there's a um, super thing up there. I wonder if I should use mine. No, Pelican, please. So there's a wag there's a super wagonizer there. Oops. Oh, okay, so there's my second death. So there's a thing with the glide on this game and that like the hover is if you use it and then like go and cancel it you can't use it again so that fucked me up here we got the small walls again that's fine this game is usually much more generous with the uh the shout upgrades i don't want to call them wagonizers because they're not wagonizer in this game which it's, it's just nicer that there's usually more of them Oh, that's nice. The super wagonizer also upgraded my shout to max. But I'm about to get another wagonizer anyway. Oh, I got the eggshell helmet. I needed that. Oh, God. I just got a jump scared by the enemy. Not as bad as when I played Tori 3D, at least. What's up here? There is a metal. Good day to you, too, sir. There we go. Wait, there might be something down here. There's just a big shark. Oh, and a golden wagon statue. Let's take it. I need to wait for this guy to move. Great. You still have to play the bat level. What the hell are you talking about? Oh, you're talking about McBat64? I'm never doing that. Oh, God. I still have a hard time sleeping because of McBat64. At least Wagan will never hurt me. No, the fat bird. I gotta get the 1-up. I missed the 1-up. That's fine. We can try again. No, MacBat. Like, like McBeth, but Bat... I streamed a game called McBat64, and like, it's a love letter to old school like collectathon platformers of the of the 64 era, like Banjo Kazooie. But like, th like there's a couple bonus levels. Like you play a nice little bubbly bonus level, 
And then out of nowhere, you like you get to this like creepy, like, this creepy wooded place with a bunch of saws, and then you get to this dark dark area that actually has a pretty fucking scary stuff. The studio that made Tori 3D and MacBat 64 are known for like making cursed games. So that was a that kept me up for a while. I'm a weenie when it comes to that stuff. Oh, so here's a concentration game where you uh match the pairs, and you have like they they keep coming as you do. It's actually a pretty neat way to do this, honestly. Like it turns into like a like an action puzzle game. There's this annoying thing where the touch screen just doesn't register and I have to keep like double clicking. Cool, got it. The music is going so fast. I imagine the spooky levels in those games had a spookiness meter wrapped up to the max. Actually, I remember there was a spooky level and that wasn't that scary. It was a little creepy, but like creepy in the 64 kind of way. But the actual scary level, oh my god. <coughs> Excuse me. But Tori 3D and stuff are like, they're made with that like liminal creepiness that all 3D games had. So like that was the point of them. Well, just move. Got some new fish in the background. I still remember the stars that slowly came, came closer to you and Tori. Yeah. I remember those stars cre uh, creeped me out. Yeah, it's not like the, <coughs> the... Excuse me. The stars themselves weren't scary. It's just like the thought of something slowly floating towards me. Just, just freaks me out. I wonder if it came from the fact when, uh, when it came from that time I got hit by a motorcycle. That put me in the hospital. Could be. You know, I can't stand the dark, and like, I used to not be scared of the dark until I moved into what I, like, my family moved into this place we called the Nightmare House because there was, like, crowd, there was constant power outages, so, like, the power would just shut off for no reason. And, uh, we'd get, like, a roach infestation, so I got my fear of both the dark and bugs from that house. So that's cool. Anyone else here scared of the dark? Well, it's, like, it's not even the dark that scares me, it's the unknown, but I think that's, like, a normal fear. Wagon will never scare me though. Wagon is pure and happy. Oh god, I'm, I'm like choking on this level over a piece of nut that was stuck in my teeth. That's why I coughed. I'm fine now though. The most unsettling thing is how they're just slow enough to be slow enough for you to be convinced that they're staying still until you look back and ask yourself, wait. Wasn't that a little further away? Honestly, that that's one of the things that's pretty scary. I'm not afraid of the dark. I'm afraid of other sides in the dark. Yeah, bugs aren't real. If I don't stare at them, they get un they get unrendered. Wagon well, fell asleep during this conversation. It's a primal fear. Is that is that a, like an, a, that sounds like it could be a term? What does primal really mean anyway? Is primal and feral different? I'm curious now. I'm not sciencey enough to know though. Oh god. Careful. Do not put spikes on Wagen's cute little feet. If you have a spammable projectile, like would like how could you not keep shooting it like this? Oh god. Wait, why am I doing that? I could just go around. There we go. Feral is like a wild animal that lacks sapience and primal is the old pre-evolved state. So like, primal is just like feral, feral. Feral tends to be unrefined while primal leans more towards first. Primal, primal fear means like ingrained to us as a species for evolutionary purposes. Oh, kind of like how babies are scared of heights and being crushed innately. That's, that's pretty crazy that we, as a species, can do that. Not even just us, like animals are the same way. This is like an underwater temple. With good music. 
I love how like even the background looks like a, a submerged temple. You know, like that's a way to make any level cooler. Is like any any environment looks cooler when it's submerged. Water's just great though. What's that fear of water called again? Thassalophobia. I definitely don't have that. So like I, I enjoy seeing like underwater stages. Watch for the spikes. You know, you know what underwater levels suck? The Mega Man ones. Like for some reason, Mega Man seems to love putting like spammy spikes in water levels. I like because like the lower gravity makes it, it makes it a bigger challenge. Hydrophobia. No, there's like there's like a, a specific fear like deep water. I don't think it's hydrophobia. I think it's called thassalophobia. I could be wrong though. Am I wrong? Is Dazzlophobia something else? I know there's a game called that. And I think it has a deal with water, but I could be wrong. It's not a game I'd ever want to play. But I try to avoid games that will keep me up at night anyway. Get, get up there. We're now out of the water. <coughs> We're out of the water and into the frying pan. Staring at this for all game... Staring for a while, the game makes you think about Wind Waker. Oh yeah, like the, all the swirls and stuff. I can see, like the ruins look like Wind Waker ruins. Bitches a phobia, fears of getting some bitches. <laughs> That's me. I mean, bitch does phobia. <laughs> okay, so I was right, Thassalophobia. How do you spell Thassalophobia? Can someone spell it for me? Thatchophobia. <laughs> Thatchophobia comes from is like an innate fear of the dactyl side. Oh god. So I, I saw someone say deerophobia as being fear, afraid of deers, but like deers are so are like such so, such scared animals like they scare themselves with their own sneeze. I remember this video where a baby deer sneezed and a mo the mama deer like just bolted. That was hilarious. Bitchless phobia sounds like a, an excuse to be bitchless. So you're basically saying like, like bitchless phobia is like it is like being an insult. Then I literally spelled thassalophobia for you. Thank you for that. I appreciate it. You know what? I think I think uh, it's a little underrated, but I really have to thank everyone here for like taking the time to actually type comments. I know like typing isn't a lot, but it's still effort, and I appreciate it. The typing, the watching, the uh, conversation. Oh god, conversations I appreciate it a lot. So thank you. Give me those star fruits. Is there anything down here? The last metal. That's what I needed. So it looks like we just hit the hour and a half mark. So it looks like three worlds a night is going to be the limit. Then again, the first world is so short, does it really count? Being bitch phobic means you're just a selfophile. What the fuck does that mean? Did you just call yourself a bitch? Oh, there's a one-up switch. This uh part makes you think of cave story for some reason. I won't elaborate why it just does. Gotta be careful on the way up. All hail the golden wagon statue. You don't need bitches when you love yourself. Joke's on you, I don't have bitches and I don't love myself. Beat that. Alright, so here's the boss. After this boss we will quit for the night. And it's uh, concentration, right? I almost forgot it was concentration. I don't think I have to use the touchscreen for this. I should just stop using the touchscreen because the touchscreen is just unresponsive in this game for some reason. It works sometimes, but when you have to click something, like it, it gets really annoying. Okay, so let's remember where all those are. Oh, 
Oh, that's the socks. Oh, that's the bamboo. Cool. Alright, so I need 10 more. I forgot where everything is. Oh god. Well, I keep spamming the button. It keeps rotating them when I don't need them to rotate. No. Okay. I hope I remember where everything is. I've already forgotten so many of them. Just need one more. No, that's the socks. Alright, cool. I think I'm gonna get a bronze statue for this. Great. At least the wagon heads in the, lower, the upper right of the touchscreen have met up once more. I'm glad to reunite them. Oh, I got a gold statue. Nice. I don't know how, but I got a gold statue. Alright, another Majin down. And I think this one talks about how... This, like, this Majin talks about how it's the classiest of all Majins. But uh, they're still getting... Teleported away. Sealed away. Alright, that's it. So, on to world 4 and then we quit. So, here's the best world ever, and I will give you an example, or I'll, gi I'll give you one guess why this world is so good. So, here's an adventure park. This is a theme park called Wagon Land. This is actually the Wagon Land. You can see the giant Wagon statue in the back, and they're having a lot of fun just running around, being happy. God, I want that giant statue in the back. So there's a marble seller, and Vlogan bumps right into it because he was running with his eyes closed for some reason. <laughs> that look that he gives him too. And this is Marble Man, he plays marbles with you. That annoying noise is the marbles that are shooting out of his pots. I don't know why they have to do that noise. Once again, causing havoc. And walk in, looks with his usual head empty look. Yeah, I'm glad for how happy he was in the amusement park. Look at, he just sees the giant walk in. So, I feel like this park was uh, built in honor of like, the old walk in land. And that's one of the reasons why I think this is like a like a far off future version. Where the, where's a new walk in. But that'll be for next time. That's it, guys. We are done with Wagon Land for tonight. Got an hour and a half. I could have probably done this world, but I will save it for next time. It's fine. That's it, guys. I hope everyone enjoyed, and I hope to see you again for tomorrow. Tomorrow, I'll most likely do another art. I'm gonna do another art stream and more Wagon Land. So I hope to see you guys there. I hope everyone has a good night. Yeah, bye, everyone.